All right, good morning. Uh, sorry for the really kind of truncated ending last night. We ate dinner and by dinner I was like sitting up, I was falling asleep sitting up. Uh, it's the next morning, we were up, we fell asleep at like between 7 and 8 p.m. Uh, it's the next morning, we're at the 7-Eleven really close to the house we're staying in and uh, Christine is making friends with the puppers. <laughs> um, yeah, so we had dinner, got home and then we were all like, super wiped out. Uh, I was falling asleep just sitting up at dinner. So we crashed early, got up super early, watched the sunrise, it was really nice. And now it's like 8.30 in the morning. Um, we're hitting up 7-Eleven. I'm trying to find a cell phone holder for my, for my phone, phone holder for my scooter. That's what I was trying to say. Oh, oh. Christine's making friends who aren't friends with each other. Uh, anyway, and so, yeah, we are gonna just go explore. We're on our sweet scooters. I'm gonna go find some gas and then uh, get massages at 11 and then hang out for a little bit and then we've got uh, Eric and I need to go do our fitting for our shirts and uh, yeah we just hang out in this area on the beach grab some lunch in this area there's a restaurant right here that's supposed to be really good and uh, fried bananas fried bananas fried bananas are dope they're good try them uh, so we're feeding the dogs we're also feeding ourselves some snacks because, you know, they have um, something called choco cheese. It's like a wafer with chocolate and cheese. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it's going to be any good. This looks like it's actually good. Some like sweet rolls. <laughs> Christine's here like policing the dogs with their snacks. And then Eric grabbed, what is this? Spicy Korean fried chicken. Spicy Korean fried chicken. The snack game is strong, and there are like way too many things to try. Yeah. And Natalie's being all like, it's 8.30, I don't want ice cream yet. But <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I just had eggs for breakfast. This is a survivor, we're throwing someone off the boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she's going to make it home. This is uh, interesting. I'm excited to try it out. Oh yeah, here, let's check it out. Okay. Taco cheese. Chocolate, chocolate little cheese. Little cheese? Uh -uh. Hey. That's enough. Go. Go. <laughs> Christine is momming. She's going to have a herd following us back to the airport. <laughs> oh, this is pretty good. Right. Yeah. Snacking done. Uh, we took a quick little drive to Watfra something, 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 some. Anyway, it's really close to where we are. Watfra Samlo Sam Sao. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, but it's really pretty. It's got a view. You can see some of the. The tiny islands in the distance and the slightly bigger islands and the slightly bigger islands. So a couple of those are like Kotao and Ko Matsum, which we're going to take a boat tour to go to because they're really close. Um, sorry, I just noticed that up in the hill there's like somewhere up there. There? There's a big Buddha statue. Maybe we'll go drive up to that. Uh, yeah, this is uh, one of many Wats up in uh, Koh Samui with like very picturesque surrounding so why not or why not all right quick check-in we just uh did a quick stop at another temple site another buddhist temple site there's a reclining buddha and we're the next foot. reclining sitting baby buddha but it's got a view that's like Look at this guy. And that guy. But this guy. Oh, is this guy about to get it? Probably not. Look. That's a cool bug. I don't know what it is, but I've never seen anything like that. It's like a millipede and a cockroach had a little Thai baby. Totally. That's exactly what it looks like. like you so we were about to uh, leave our, our lovely villa here on the beach to go get massages. Uh, There's a miscommunication. I misunderstood. Because apparently massages were coming to us. Who knew? So, um, yeah, there's some people from the local massage place and uh, they set up using the chairs here and uh, we get to have our massages, you know, right here, which is kind of awesome. Uh, all right, so massages are all done. They packed up, brought their stuff. Um, Thai massages are not like uh, an exercise in relaxation. <laughs> it was... 
It was painful. But also, like, you know, in a good way. Yeah, the oil pipe was relaxing, but that was a very small fraction of it. This is the beginning. But still an awesome experience, because you're like, you have like, it's warm, you got that breeze blowing in your face, or on your body and stuff. It was phenomenal. And now we're back, uh, heading out to get some lunch. Scooter gang, hopping back on the, on the scoots. And, uh, gonna go to a local shop, just a local restaurant, just five minutes away, right across from the 7-Eleven. Um, so yeah, should be good. And, uh... I'll uh, check in there. So uh, we came to Tesco. We needed to pick up some random supplies. Got some like cheese for Natalie and uh, oh, a pool floaty so she can float in the pool in kind of a more relaxing fashion. We came up to Lanai Beach area, which is about 25 minutes from the from our place. And uh, there's a store called Tesco, and we're like, what's a Tesco? And apparently it's like a mini mall type thing with a bunch of shops in it. <sighs> it's a jungle in here. Um, but they also have like, you know, kids games areas, McCleaves, and uh, yeah, like grocery store, and some Mr. Mr. D Flippy Floppies for Mr. E. Some Mr. D's for Mr. D. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna, we just came up here because we needed to get our suits, our shirts, <laughs> our shirts uh, fitted just to like test them out. Uh, pretty excited with how they look. Yeah. So happy with that and uh, yeah, did a little bit more shopping and now we're headed back home. We're probably just gonna hang out by the pool and get dinner at some point. I definitely had um, my first bout of what they call Thai tummy, <laughs> which <laughs> And, uh, and, and as a result, I got to teach our lovely host, Kevin, uh, who is French, uh, even though he's lived here for 22 years, uh, I got to teach him what a plunger is, because it apparently has never come up before in however long he's rented that house. Work. That's <laughs> so, I don't know, I was like, hey, do you have a plunger? I just like sent him a message on WhatsApp, and he's like... Sorry, what is that? And he's like, he sent me a picture. He's like, I had to Google it. I've never heard of that before. <laughs> so he sent someone over uh, to take care of it, but uh, somehow that had never come up. So uh, I feel good educating others, you know? Just showing them a little bit of culture. Storm picked up a little bit. We got dinner. The hunter's returning from, from the restaurant. Uh, those two bags of food for four people. Comes out to about 10 bucks because Thailand. We got that. Uh, call this good for the night. We're gonna watch uh, Phantom of the Open because I rented it. I drug. Um, we got some popcorn from a little stand and we got some dinner and it's super windy and stormy and dark now. So we're gonna, yeah, watch a movie and show and uh, yeah. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow. I like doing the boost thing. Ooh.